Hello there, welcome to Google Beyond Corp video series. This is Goldie again. In this first video, let us understand what is Google Beyond Corp, at least at a high level. Now, personally, I feel before we jump towards understanding what, we should really cover why. Because once we understand the reasoning or the why behind it, learning or understanding what and how will become very easy. So, if you look at most of the products or services or inventions, they were done because of either there was a problem which is not solved yet. For example, we needed something which can take us faster from point A to point B, and there was no solution for that. So that's why car was invented. Now in the second bucket, there was already a car invented, but then Tesla came so that it can improve the existing solution. It can be, you know, operated by battery, it's environment friendly, it can help us cut down our gas bill. And Beyond Corp Enterprise or BCE is no different. We already have a few solutions available, which we have been using from a few decades of using technology, but these systems lack uh, a few things, and that's why BCE should be considered or Beyond Corp should be considered. So now let's look at some of the solutions that we have been using and how they fall short. Network-based access, you might have witnessed it. I've seen it uh, when I you know, started my first job back in 2004 or 2003. I faced it where I used to go to my office. I will just you know put my ID and password and I authenticate to the corporate systems. I'm inside office, I will have access to the resources. But as soon as I step out of office, I will not have access because the access is based on the network parameter. Now, it was okay for some time, but it does not scale well. It does not suit the needs of today's user because it's not relevant. Today, our applications are not just hosted internally. They might be running in some other cloud provider infrastructure or we, we might be using software as a service it's not secure either because uh, the trust model here in this approach relies on the network parameter which really uh, assumes that an insider is not a threat so if i'm inside the office i shouldn't be considered as threat which is not correct at least nowadays just take a scenario where I'm an insider, I go to office, I'm inside office, I have access, but somehow I download the malware or maybe uh, I get a victim of ransomware, my system will be impacted and it may spread to others as well. Also, it lacks mobility. COVID has taught us many things, but one of them is that most of the jobs can be done from anywhere. You don't need to be at your office desk to be productive. But this solution does not uh, help with that. So we iterated and we then came up with another approach which is VPN based access where if you're outside office, you won't have access. If you're inside office, you will have access. However, to address the mobility, we came up with this VPN or virtual private network where you will first need to connect to VPN to be able to get access to corporate resources. It's like a secure tunnel, so you will first connect to the tunnel and then you will have a secure connection. But this again relies on that same network-based parameter approach. It's just that you're using a tunnel to be an insider to your corporate resources. And it also had some problems. For example, it needs you to you know, uh, have a lot of uh, operational cost in advance. It's uh, hard to implement. Again, it is not secure because more or less it still relies on that network-based approach. And I'm sure you might have used VPNs in the past and you know the user experience. I was subcontracted by a few companies in the past and I used to connect every morning to my VPN. I didn't enjoy the experience as user at all. So for that, now let's talk about the prospective solution to this. One solution can be that we can have a bigger or better firewall, but will it really help? I don't think so. Instead, the better way to address this should be a change in the trust models, where instead of trusting the network parameter, we should trust the user and the attributes around that user or the identity. And that's where 
uh, Beyond Corp comes in. So this is exactly what Beyond Corp is. I took this definition from Google's Beyond Corp offering page, and let me just summarize it with some key points. So number one, it is Google's own implementation of ZTA or Zero Trust Architecture, which we will cover in next video. It really shifts the access control approach from network-based or network parameter-based to user-centric, which means which IP address is the user trying to access resources from, uh, which location or which country is this access request coming from, which device is user using, is this device running the latest patched operating system, is this uh, device encrypted, is user uh, using the strong uh, multi-factor authentication, is uh, the device company owned or maybe uh, personally owned. Also, is this device running some sort of software that are not approved by our organization because we have not assessed their security? And based on that, you create policies saying in this specific context, users should be able to access or not access specific resources. And when I say context, this context should also be dynamically or continuously assessed. It's not like once I authenticate to my corporate resources, then I will have a full day access even if my context changes. In this scenario with Zero Trust or with Google Beyond Corp, as soon as the context changes and it does not meet our access policies, access should be revoked instantly. And finally, it helps us securely access corporate resources from anywhere without the painful VPN. So at, in a nutshell, this is what Google Beyond Corp is. And in the next video, we'll talk about Beyond Corp ar architecture so you understand how things work uh, behind the scenes to let you securely access your corporate resources. With that, thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.